money, power, respect. Three the hard way. Boy, real here from Three the Hard Way TV. Go like our fan page on Facebook. Also subscribe to the YouTube. Don't forget to like and share this video. Comment under the link. It's your boy, real. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV. Me and the brothers up in this motherfucker, Jeff, Larry. Email, subscribe, all of that's below. Get at us. Get at us. <laughs> on today's show, man, we got a question coming in via the inbox on Facebook, man. Go like our Facebook page. That's the number three, the Hardway TV. And it's coming in from a young lady. She says, <laughs> she says she got a lot of questions for us. But it says, uh, why do NBA and NFL players be with black women before they make it? But when they make it big, they get them a white woman. Shit. Uh, <laughs> you already know what that is. A, a black woman, she, she gonna want everything. You can get a white woman to sign a prenup. You know? <laughs> black woman, she not going for that shit, P. She's gonna want everything. Man, what, the, what what is it? What is it, bro? That's the reason, it's, it's, shit. Cause I mean, a black with, with a black woman, she not finna keep accepting you study cheating. A white woman, <laughs> they, they they're accepting. You can do it multiple times before they just say fuck it. A black woman, your ass gone. Maybe they attracted to him. Period. No, man, I, I'm not gonna go that route, man. These, these they, motherfuckers. I'm not even gonna put it on the black women, man. These these dudes be suckers. That's exactly. all it is, yeah, okay. man. Exactly. They be a motherfucking sucker because if you you need you a strong motherfucker behind you, man. You know what I'm saying? She may want to spend some money. You gonna get you a white woman that's a gold digger too, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They out here, the motherfuckers coming all races, colors, creeds, ethnicities, all of that shit, man. So. Them, all the black men that just run and go get them a motherfucking white woman, I'm not gonna tell them who to fall in love with. But, you know, chances is, nine times out of ten, that shit don't work. You just should have stepped with Shaniqua ass uh, about your local neighborhood projects, man, that made it work, man. You can't get her pregnant. Then you got to pay her child support. But then you go marry the white woman. But then you got to buy her stuff, her daddy stuff, her mama stuff. Exactly. And it's an all fucked up situation, man. Exactly. So it don't is. do it. But stick with your black women. Well, stick who you feel comfortable with. Right. Don't just change up because you, you got a little money now. And now you know. Just stick who the fuck you is. Maybe that's what it is, though, man. Maybe they just attracted to them. Or it's some that shit they, they just got to have. But I just don't understand, like, all these NBA players got wives and NFL players with these good wives and shit. And they still cheat. I don't understand why. If you got a good ass woman at home, why cheat? But you know shit, you out there in the line like them motherfuckers throwing them mm -hmm. panties at you, boy. Ten, 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 like you no, might have the baddest bitch in the world, but it's somebody bad in the hunt in the world. Exactly. Yeah, you though, feel uh, me? I, I it's feel gonna you. be up to you though, exactly. I mean. Yeah, that's you, what you, it don't, is. you don't think Jay Z be on tour and he look out there in the crowd and the, and the bitch show him a nipple and he be like, damn. I know he do. <laughs> I know he do. I know T.I. do the same shit and all all T these stars. T but Tiny ain't that good looking. No. No, she ain't. <laughs> she ain't though. She ain't though. But I'm just saying. I just don't understand. No, no disrespect to you, uh, T.I. Right. or your wife, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but like I said, man, maybe that's what they like. But I don't understand it, though, because if it was me, if I got a good-ass woman at home, why cheat? Hey, look, you get on, for instance, right? The chick's going to be coming out the woodworks, right? Who you who you going to gonna settle down with you, a nice black woman? You know what I'm saying? That's showing you the same attention as a, 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 a Arab woman or, you know, anything like that. What you going to choose? What you going with? I'm going with the person that I feel happy with. That going to make me the man that I am. But what you, what type of women you been dating your whole life? Shit, number of blacks, but... <laughs> I, like all, I like all women, though. I've been no, dating number of blacks. I'm just bullshit. I'm just bullshit. I personally, I'm saying who I'm, who I'm with right now, man. I mean, it just is what it is. We go through our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, shit, if I get rich, she gonna be right there with me. That's no what I'm saying. You got you a ride or die chick. Why? So when Why they me? when they get to throwing that good, you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers around here with them nice round booties and them little waists. What you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot them down. 
Like right now to this day. Like, shit. It, ain't, it, ain't worth, it ain't worth losing, you know what I'm saying, a damn shit right now. <laughs> what, right. Tim, what you gonna do? Uh, let, look at his face. Is it, is it, <laughs> is it, is it, <laughs> he got a straight face. <laughs> I don't know what he talking about, bro. <laughs> I ain't no none of that. <laughs> but no, man, for real, though. Like, I don't understand it, though, but I don't see why. Like, then You know what? I, I can understand, like, just to piggyback off what you was just saying. Like, okay, you done grew up in the hood your whole life, so only thing you be around is black women. It's you nice. get a few Mexicans, you get a few Puerto Ricans. That's how the hood is set up. We don't see too many white people where we from. You know what I'm saying? But if you was in a neighborhood where everybody was integrated, where it was black, white, Chinese, all of that, I'm pretty sure growing up, you probably had a Chinese girlfriend, a Mexican girlfriend, a Puerto Rican girlfriend, because that's just what you around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's so That's true. That's definitely true. Then when these guys get, they get a little money, they start getting in the spotlight, they start to go to these uh, black tie dinners. You know, they start to go to these fundraisers. Well, now when they in that door, they not seeing women exactly. of color no more. Exactly. Right. You know, so then they 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 fought they, Becky up in there. Right. Becky done threw that head on the right way, as it might fucking talk about. <laughs> there it go, right that, there. That, that is so not true, man. White girls don't got the best head. No, I never no, said they, they did. They but don't. I'm just saying, that's just the, right. a they thing with people saying the white girls. The best head I ever got was from a white girl, though. But I'm just saying white girls no, ain't got the best head. The best head I ever got from was a Mexican. Yeah. Shit, you know what I mean. And I'm talking about she was throwing Black, that off all day. Back. <laughs> I mean, personally, Damn. though, personally, I mean, I don't have some good head. I had some bogus head, but you gotta when you that type of shit, you gotta guide them to how you like your shit, so <laughs> That's true. That's how it's gonna be great. That's true. Okay, so the black guys should stick to the black women. Nah, you should stick to who she and you feel comfortable around, exactly. who's treating you right. I exactly. mean, right. just because. A okay. black woman now, any motherfucker race can do the same. Yeah, it's, it's it's like you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm put it like this. It's like you've been eating McDonald's your whole motherfucking life, but then you go sit down the roof, Chris, and you get you a motherfucking steak. You know what I'm saying? You've been eating McDonald's your whole motherfucking life. Once you get that first taste of roof, Chris, you don't want another Big Mac no more. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want another. You don't want another quarter pound or none of that shit. Smelling that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's that's all I'm saying, man. Y'all got anything else for? Shout out to Leon and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Facebook, the Twitter, all the links below, as well as the phone number. Get at us. We out. It's your boy Dion. Y'all give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Money, power, respect. Three the hard way.